Praise the big jolly sun, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunbro Sunday. And I do apologize for a lack of Super Saturday yesterday. Uh, it's been a little bit of a busy week. Uh, I, I didn't have a whole lot of opportunity to put in the time for a Super Saturday, but I'm hoping that that can change next week. And maybe, uh, no promises, but I'll maybe put something out in the middle of the week, like as a... I don't know. <laughs> An apology. You know, like a... A fruitcake that you bring for the holidays. So, maybe there'll be a, uh... Fruitcake Saturday episode in the middle of... No chance in hell. <laughs> Anyways, guys, in case you missed last week's exciting episode of... Sunbro Sunday... We went down to the New Londo Ruins, and, um... It's... It's an interesting time to, to be a Sunbro because the sun does not reach down in New Londo Ruins. Well, maybe a little bit of light does, but it's not a whole hell of a lot. Uh, there's Dark Rays down there, which, you know, I had no problem with. There's giant snot monsters down there, which I had no problem with and, and don't respawn, so that's great. I mean, there's ghosts down there. What the fuck? Why in God's name do I have so much trouble with the fucking Four Kings every time? I don't know. I don't know, but it, it's... You know what it is? I remember this show that my mom made me watch. It, it's something from, from her uh, period growing up, and she would always make me watch it. And... You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. Anybody remember that show? I, I, I very vaguely remember it, but, I mean, I was brought up on so many fucking, you know, family-oriented uh, sitcoms. Maybe Facts of Life wasn't, wasn't exactly a sitcom, but it, it, it had a very comedy element to it. Yeah, it was a sitcom. Who the fuck am I kidding? I mean... You name it, I watched it. Mama's Family, Roseanne. Roseanne was the big one. Uh, but, you know, Facts of Life, fucking Family Matters. I was raised on the good stuff, guys. And, and I'm interested, what sorts of things did you watch with your family uh, growing up? I, I am well aware of the fact that quite a few of my fans are of a younger audience than I am. But I I'm curious, like, wh what were you brought up on with your family? And I'm not talking about, you know... Hey Arnold or, or, or Nickelodeon or Disney Channel stuff. I'm talking about what was it that you and your parents would watch. I'm interested. I'm curious. But here I am. I'm human down here in New Londo. And I'm probably uh, going to get invaded. I'm human. Even though there's no point for me to be human. Because there's nobody down here who's going to fucking... Need master. Okay, well, uh, I, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Why the fuck not? If I can't beat the four kings in my own world, maybe I can beat it in somebody else's, right? Oh. I don't know. It, it, it's just... It's so different nowadays. It, it, it's so... I don't want to say depressing, but kind of jarring for me to... Z I grew up watching Roseanne, and, you know, there were characters on that show, Sarah Gilbert as uh, as Darlene, and Johnny Galecki as, as David Healy, and those characters, well, not so much Sarah Gilbert anymore, but those characters were mainstays on The Big Bang Theory, and it's like... Comedy actors are so timeless, you know, they can transcend generations. And everybody knows who Johnny Galecki is now. If you don't know who his name is, you, you know who Leonard from The Big Bang Theory is. And it's like, this is a character from a show years ago. I mean, for God's sake, George Clooney got a decent start uh, on fucking, um, on Roseanne. Or was he Booker the Foreman or whatever like that? It's so depressing. I'm getting old. I'm fucking 25 years old. I'm not getting any younger. You fucking eat a... Eat a dick. I don't give a damn about you, you piece of shit dark wraith. You can die. I'm gonna... This is gonna be one of those language-filled episodes, folks. Ugh. Land's having a, a third life crisis here, and we're all doomed. Come on out. I know you're there. 
I know you're there, you come quite. Come out for me. There you are. Yeah? Hugs? Hugs? No, you has no hugs. Please, God. Oh, fuck. The Dark Wraith is here. The Dark Wraiths are coming! The Dark Wraith! Oh, shit. Um. Estus? There we are. So people kindled the, uh. The Firelink Bonfire, which is nice, I suppose. Uh. Can you go away, dude? I don't like you, Dark Wraith! I'll poke you to my fucking heart's content. And there's no way in hell you're gonna drop a Titanite slab because I'm missing all my fucking humanity, so that's that's a thing, I guess. Dark Wraith, I challenge you to a duel! And so help me God, if I do not beat the fucking four kings on this next try, there will be hell to pay. Three, four, fail! Yeah, well. So, one final Dark Wraith. I'm not gonna waste time summoning uh, Witch Beatrice this time. Th that, that's just a sure recipe for disaster. I mean, she doesn't help. She has... It, it's almost like the exact opposite of the Moonlight Butterfly fight. She... Really has no. Oh, Jesus. She has no real positive impact on this fight. She just makes the bosses fucking stronger. That's not good. And I'd like to kill this Dark Wraith before popping into the Four Kings to say hi. Nope. Oh, well. At least nobody's trying to invade me. And I'm obviously at a very awkward level right now, uh, and it's getting to the point where I'm going to give this two shots. Uh, hello? Somebody trying to... Oh, okay, it's because I'm on the bridge, I see. Um, need ring. Well, thank you for that, I suppose. I'm, I'm already wearing said ring, but that's fine. Um, I really need to upgrade my armor at some point. And that would be, like, now, but whatever. I received a numerous amount of comments telling me to use a combination of Havel's armor with the Crest Shield. I forgot that the Four Kings rely mainly on magic damage. I mean, it's not all magic damage, mind you, but it's a good portion. So, you use Havel's armor to resist the physical damage of the Four Kings, and you use the Crest Shield to turtle up behind the magical damage, and... You know, you kick ass, you take names, and you do all that happy horse shit. So, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm giving this two shots, and if it doesn't work, I'm taking to Facebook and, and begging somebody on there to, to help me. Because it's obvious that I'm not going to be able to find any casual sun rose. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. The descent into the Garden of Madness. Let it begin now. Let us jump back into the portal, back to 1995, and watch reruns of Roseanne. Well, not reruns, new episodes. God, I'm so old. I feel so fucking old. Four kings! Or infinite kings! I challenge you assholes to a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oops. Yeah, maybe you want to have your shield up. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Fuck my souls. Humanity. Now I got four kings. It's gonna be two, two on one. This sucks. Guys, uh. Fair catch? Is there a fair catch rule here? Come on! What do I look like? The Denver Broncos! Oh. Well. Seems to be going well. I killed one. I saw that! Brick killed a guy! Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. Damn! 
It's your fucking joke! I mean, I'm probably gonna run out of Estus before any of this does anything, but, you know, give it a shot. It actually wouldn't be a bad idea for me to go into this with uh, some of the green shit, if I have any of the green shit. Um, the little tea leaf bullshit or whatever the hell. I'll be damned! I should be using a miracle here, because the, the divine damage doesn't seem to be working too well. Although it's pretty epic for me to go face to face with this Four Kings boss fight and just not give a damn. Guys, where's the attempted gangbang? You guys really are going for fair catch, aren't you? No, I don't think so. Let's just... Who else wants some? Come on, get in line, you ass wipe. Oh, no fair. Well, you're halfway down, and I'm halfway out of Estus, and I started this thing with 12, so... I don't remember having this much ease with the Four Kings. I mean, I know, I know, I'm not in a, a very... Well, me and my big fucking mouth, I'm probably... Oh, you... Oh, I see, you're sucking my humanity away! You're like the Dark Raids! You're the lords and masters of the Dark Raids, so that would make sense, I suppose. Although I don't appreciate you fucking with my Estus supply. You take too much F- Oh, sh oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck, 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 no! Ugh. So much for fair catch. Alright. Not too much left. Oh, you, you fucking- I already killed two kings! Why the fuck are three kings surrounding me? No fair! I know, I know, there's actually an infinite amount of them. They're just called four kings because that's how many you have to kill for the life bar. All that shit. Um, I really need to have my heal miracle out. Okay, heal. Lucky duck. Surprised at you, Mr. King. Well, all I have to say is that. Oh, oh, sh oh, fuck, 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 no! Holy goddamn, that was a fucking miracle. Oops. I'm not gonna die when you have a sliver of health left, motherfucker. Take that, you fucks! All 9,001 of you! King me! Oh, maybe this isn't checkers. Uh, bequeathed. Or bequeathed. Lord Soul Shard. And hey! It's Frampt! Or is it? He looks like Frampt. He smells like Frampt. He even sounds like Frampt. But this is not King Seeker Frampt. This is someone else. Someone who resides in the abyss. Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, Darkstalker Kaf. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls. But your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul, the Dark Soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Soul and waited for fire to subside. And soon, the flames did fade, and only Dark remained. Thus began the Age of Men, the Age of Dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his age of fire and in dire fear of humans and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. 
Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the Primordial Serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true Lord. But the other Serpent, Frapped, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. All right. Well, that's awfully fucking interesting. So, Frampt has not told us the whole story. He made it seem like, you know, the curse of the undead, the humans, they were victims. Well, from what Koth is telling me, Darkstalker Koth, um... There's a, a more sinister thing going on, and that humans were actually destined to not replace Lord Gwyn, but outright overthrow him. So, which path will you walk? Will you walk on the side of the Alliance, or the side of the... Okay, maybe not. Um... It, there really is no good or evil in Dark Souls. The the, the fact that uh, Koth is here in the Abyss, in the home of the Dark Rays, and he actually is technically the leader of the Dark Wraith Covenant, which we'll see soon, it would really tend to make people with a traditional RPG mindset to think, well, this guy is evil, and since Frampt is is the the friend of, of God, Lord Gwyn, well, maybe, maybe Frampt is the good guy. Well, there is no good or evil, and if you go really fucking deep into this game's lore, it's actually kind of disturbing, because humanity, uh, many people uh, have the theory that humanity is actually pieces of of the dark soul that, that uh, Koth had talked about, which is really fucking creepy. So, the closer to becoming human you get, the closer to becoming a dark lord you become. Well, that, that doesn't make any sense. The closer to becoming the dark lord you get, I guess. Yeah, that's that's the terminology I'll look for. And it it's really kind of awesome because it's kind of the reverse of Lord Voldemort, you know, who who, who sacrificed his humanity to become a Dark Lord and, and split his soul asunder. It's kind of the antithesis of, of all of that. So you, as the protagonist, uh, have the option to become the Dark Lord. Now, your decision to basically side with one serpent or the other does not determine which ending you're going to get. That's actually at the end of the game, because there are multiple endings. But for right now, uh, I need to... Uh, oh, Jesus. I can... Okay, bye. Rest at bonfire, so I can at least get some Estus back. But yes. Oh, please, God, do... Yeah. I should have made my decision. It would have been yes, but... Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still and trust thine flesh to me. Oh god, you're not gonna swallow me like fucking Frampt did, will you? No! Oh well. Dun 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 dun. But. Even if this decision does not determine the ending, what it does determine is what perk you're going to get based on which serpent you side with. If you choose to side with King Seeker Frampt, this is prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. 
Yes. If you place the Lord Vessel on the altar in the name of Frampt, you will have access to, you know, all of the stuff that you had before. You'll be able to basically sell items to him. You can break down Titanite into smaller pieces, which is actually very good if, if you grind out chunks of Titanite. You can get other pieces towards that. Uh, if you do choose to side with Koth, uh, you get something of a more interesting option in that Koth is responsible for a covenant. What is it? What is it? Place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. Uh, no. Hmm. 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 What say you, Koth? I want to wait a little bit before making my decision. Uh, but yes, you, you cannot side with both. If you side... And the, the problem is, is that I've basically done everything that I can do before making a decision. Uh, you're technically supposed, and I'm going to use that in quotes, uh, you're supposed to uh, come to New Londo Ruins uh, after you've placed the Lord Vessel that you got from Anor Londo. Like, basically, when you talk to Frampt after getting the Lord Vessel the first time. That's when you're supposed to place it down. But if you do that, you miss out on the opportunity to talk to Koth and, and get a little bit more of the story, which I find fascinating. Now, I I'm not going to go into which one I, I tend to side with more, just based on the fact that I don't do um, a whole lot of Dark Wraith stuff. I, I, I do prefer siding with Framp just because of the ability to sell shit, but then again, who the hell needs to sell shit when you can just use the infinite soul and humanity trick and it, there's no purpose in it but yeah now by using homeward I guess Koth thinks that I have placed the lord vessel in his name and he will actually tell me a little bit more about what he's responsible for ah if you wish I shall grant the art of life drain the legendary power of the dark lord it can preserve your humanity while undead, and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. Mmm, yes indeed. A bit sinister. He is responsible for the Dark Raids, which are technically the same thing as those skeletal beings in lower New Londo ruins. Uh, technically not, because the Dark Raids are the ones who are on the path to become Dark Lords, so... Undead. To speak now is premature. It begins with your retrieval of the Lord Vessel. Uh, but I, I have the Lord Vessel. Whatever. But you can join the Dark Wraiths. Uh, if you do so, you can advance and eventually get uh, the uh, an outfit that makes you essentially... Uh, into a Dark Wraith. You, you, it's the exact same outfit that the NPCs that I was fighting were wearing. You, you can get their sword if you level up high enough into it. One of the really good perks about joining the Dark Raids is that you get a permanent... Um, well, just a sec here. You get a permanent Red Eye Orb. Now, the cracked Red Eye Orb is just what you use to... It's a one-off item. It's a consumable... Uh, you use it to invade another world. Now, the thing is, there there are multiple methods to handle PvP in this game. Uh, and it doesn't always involve just invading like a douchebag. Sometimes, you know, you can roleplay a little bit. You can invade somebody uh, for a souvenir of reprisal in the name of the Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant, which I will be uh, at least showing off at some point. Eye of Death. Uh, <laughs> like I said before, guys, uh, the covenants in this game all revolve around one of the nine basic affiliations. You know, lawful good, neutral good, chaotic good, and all that stuff. Now, lawful good is the way of the white, or at least that's what fans have, have dubbed as the lawful good covenant. The neutral good is the princess guard, which is the one where you basically take the side of Guinevere. The chaotic good is siding with Guinevere's brother, who we have not met yet, but that is the Blade of the Dark Moon. They're basically the hunters of the sinners. Now, the lawful neutral, that's what I am right now. Big jolly son, bro. Uh, true neutral is the forest covenant 
Forest Guardian Covenant, um, the Forest Hunters, I think they're actually called, they have a huge fucking PvP hub, and if you're big on PvP, you'll either go uh, with the Dark Raids or the Forest Hunters. That's about it. Uh, Chaotic uh, Neutral is the um, the Chaos Servant Servant Covenant, where you side with Quellog's sister. Uh, Lawful Evil is th- this little thing right here, the Eye of Death. That's the Gravelord's Servant Covenant. We'll, we'll meet Gravelord Nito at some point. Uh, neutral Evil is the least explored one. That is the uh, Path of the Dragon Covenant. And I- I'm going to be honest, I have never taken that route. It's not the fact that, you know, I, I don't like the perks that you can get from it, because, I mean, y- you basically get a dragon head and a dragon body, which is fucking amazing. But a- at the same time, it's just so far out of the way that I don't know, even in this game, I, I don't know if I can bring myself to go all the way down to Ash Lake. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be a lot easier now that I can teleport, but it doesn't matter. And of course, Chaotic Evil... Well, look no further than this guy here. But... What is it? I am your guardian. Go on. State your wish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me... Very well. Be still. Yeah, yeah. And trust thine flesh to me and all that happy horse shit. I am going to be siding with the more interesting option, if you want my opinion. Because Frampt, uh, he's he's a goody two-shoes. He has uh, basically chosen to... I don't know mislead you, but definitely withhold information. And if you see, if you were to see the quote unquote good ending, there's a lot to be desired. So, that being said, I am going to go all the way towards becoming the Dark Lord. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not necessarily evil, it's just dark. Dark does not necessarily mean evil. Put that big giant bowl down, and with it, feast upon the souls of lords. I gotta take your havel set off, Anthony. You you look awesome in it, but it's way too fucking fat. It worked for the four kings. I'll give it that, and thank you to everybody who reminded me about that, because I had forgotten about the crest shield having a, a, a really fucking awesome magic resist. And now, by placing the Lord Vessel, that is in the Tomb of the Giants. That is uh, the Duke's Archives. And that is the Demon Ruins. Those are the three directions available to us. And we have already uh, taken a little bit of a step towards lighting this fire inside the Lord Vessel. We do have the bequeathed Lord Soul Shard. There were three Lord Souls. There was the soul of the Witch of Isolith, Grave Lord Nito, and the soul of Gwyn. Gwyn split his soul into uh, two fragments. One fragment held by the Four Kings, or maybe they stole it, I don't know. That, that would make more sense because I'm not sure why uh, Gwyn's Soul Shard would be in the hands of, of basically the god killers or, or the god killer covenant um and the other to his companion Seath the scaleless and now tell me more my servant very well once the vessel is filled with souls the gate to Gwyn shall open seek grave lord Nito the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor, Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls. Then the gate will open, so that you may kill Gwyn. Yes, kill Gwyn, not succeed ready? Gwyn. Then let us return to the Abyss, and trust thine flesh to me. Uh, sure. Now, as you can see, the Lord Vessel basically doubles as a bonfire. Uh, you can't warp to it, but it really doesn't matter because it's just a simple hop to Firelink Shrine and then you pop down. 
the Abyss is kind of an out-of-the-way location that, I mean, if you want to rank up in, in the Dark Raids, that's one way to go, but that's the only reason I would ever justify coming here. I mean, there's nothing here! It's black nothingness. I mean, don't get me wrong, you don't need the Covenant of Artorius anymore because you only needed that during the Four Kings boss fight, but... Let me see. What do I want? Let's let's uh let's keep the Leo ring on for now. Hmm, yes. I can walk in the abyss and say fuck you to everybody who wants to screw with me because this is my realm now. I have commandeered it in the name of the Dark Lord Adherent. And uh I'm going to have to do some serious redecorating once this is over with. But, um, I'll keep my Balder swag shield on. Hell yeah. Big jolly knight's got to have a big jolly black shield. Anyways, um, a as I had mentioned before, guys, this is basically the point of the game where it, it sends you three different ways. And all of them, you have to have placed the Lord Vessel at this point. Like, like... New Londo Ruins is the last stage where you can really progress without having to place the fucking Lord Vessel. So, that being said, let's deliver... Hmm. King Seeker Framt, I got some bad news for you. Uh, I've said to hell with you and your little scheme to try and get me to succeed, Lord Gwyn. And I don't know why I'm talking like Wade Barrett. I'm sorry, Bad News Barrett right now. But, uh, yeah, I got some bad news. You sorry fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. Mm, yes. Uh, I, I should say that uh, y you will not ever see Frampt again in, in this playthrough. He might show up in the ending. Might not. I don't know. But, um, yeah, Frampt is not going to help anymore, which is fine. I mean, I've got Koth. Koth does not do the things that Frampt does. Uh, but, you know, it's more interesting. I don't really need Frampt's ability to deconstruct Titanite or any of that shit. I don't need to sell anything. I've got more than enough fucking souls right here. And yes, I am the greatest. So let's boost up that vitality, boost up that endurance. God, I need a normal fucking weapon. I need a normal fucking weapon. I mean, my strength and my dexterity have to go up if I get a normal weapon. Because the, the normal weapon that I have in mind is that Silver Knight Sword. And, and that's, that's, that does not bode well at all. But yes, you are at a crossroads right now. You can take the path. I mean, you have to go through all three paths eventually. But which one you want to go through first is basically determined by what character setup you have. If you are a mainly intellect build, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. If you are an intelligence-based build and rely a lot on magic, go up to the Duke's archives. It's going to suck, but you're going to get a lot, a lot of firepower up there. If you rely on pyromancy, go down to Lost Isolith. You can find a great deal of pyromancy down there, and uh, you won't get your ass kicked as easily. Well, until you fight the boss, that is. And if you are a faith build, like our big jolly knight here, you want to descend down to the catacombs. Now, of course, th this is just advice, but there's a great deal of reason why you would want to do that, because there are miracles to be had. And the only means by which we can get those miracles is by going down and doing it now. And, I mean, I could do it later, but why the fuck do it later? I've got the ability to do it now, and that's exactly why I'm here. So, the catacombs are an interesting area. First things first, we've got this little graveyard, which is fine and dandy. Who really gives a damn? I certainly don't. Uh, the skeletons, you know, slightly difficult enemies at the very beginning of the game, but now they're absolute child's play now. They're, they're, they're piss easy. Uh... Unfortunately, it's complicated a little bit, and it's the reason why 
I have a divine claymore. Not just the fact that it scales with my faith, which is a very good point, but also... Well, I'll discuss that when I get there. Now, oh no! It's Skeleton City! It's Bitch Fest 14! Oh, fuck. We've got a lot of skeletons. Now, I would assume this is... Uh, you couldn't hit the broadside of a barn, dude. Alright, red and white round shield. Red and white round shield. They also drop scimitars, but... Zweihander! The... Uh, weapon of champions. A lot of guys like to use this. And I don't blame them. It's a, it's an interesting little weapon. It's a good weapon. And, uh... Binoculars. Yeah. So, I'm human, and I'm going down to the the catacombs. I am fucked. Uh, this is not a good place to be human. Uh, you got enough problems as it is coming down here, and if it's not going to get helped if I am invaded by anybody. So, just to stay on my toes, I'm going to get invaded. I know I am. But, just to stay cautious. Let the descent into hell begin. Alright, I put it off long enough, it's interesting, and I'm going to mention it. These skeletons respawn. They do not respawn if you kill them with a divine weapon. Um, they do respawn if you kill them by any other means, which is not good. I don't think I have to tell you that, like, respawning enemies is, is absolute shit. It's bad enough you've got the exploding skeletons of doom, or the exploding skulls of doom. I mean, what the fuck? Why? Why? It's like the smart bombs from Star Fox, except like the M-rated version of the smart bombs from Star Fox. And of course, yeah, here, here's a good shot of the skeletons reforming, because they died from a means other than a divine weapon. They died from the smart bomb skeleton skull heads. Yeah, scimitar. Thank you. But there is another way. If if you have gone down here and do not have access to a divine weapon, there is another way. And that method is the fact that you must hunt down the necromancer that is reanimating these skeletons. Um, that way they'll stay dead when you kill them. Well, at least until you reach a bonfire. Everything respawns then. Unless it's a non-respawning enemy. But everybody knows that. Now... There's not just one necromancer in this fucking uh, catacombs. There are like seven of them, I think, in total. And catacombs are big. They're mean. They're unforgiving. Uh, if you are going through this area for the first time, you're you're going to die. This is kind of a fun house, similar to Sen's Fortress. Uh, there's traps and douchebag moves everywhere. There's statues that'll have little punji sticks that come out every fucking time you go near them. Oh, hello. Somebody put down a summoning sign. How very interesting. Roll that beautiful bean footage. So, you wouldn't come down and help me when I wanted help down in Nuando. But you put your sign here. What is the deal with this whole summoning sign thing? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Like I said, I'm going through a third life crisis, folks. I'm 25 fucking years old. I'm realizing that all of these characters on TV shows when I was a kid, well, they're, they're A-list actors now that are on fucking... Ugh. I don't know. I... It's a depressing time to be to be a young adult. That's all I can say. Are you coming or not? I made an attempt to summon you, sir. Or madam. Probably sir. Everybody knows girls don't play video games. Summoning failed! You don't say. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter too much because I can just sit down and watch everything respawn around me. That's fine, I guess. I'm mainly doing that for my own benefit. But yes, uh, the catacombs are very treacherous. There's a lot of dead ends. 
there's a lot of areas that you must take leaps of faith if you want to progress. And there are a lot of douchebag necromancers who fire their fireballs at- well, go figure, they fire their fireballs at you. What the hell else are they gonna do with them? Ugh. Oh well. Yeah, these skeletons ain't worth shit. Now, unfortunately, neither of these necromancers. These necromancers love to run, and if you do not kill them immediately, they will run off, which is very, very problematic if you are trying to actually kill the necromancer and stop these guys from respawning. Of course, since I have a divine weapon, I, of course, don't have to worry about such silly first world problems. Now, I do know that there are little pitfalls in some of these little burial mounds. God, this is so bad. Like, what's undead and what's not in this game? Like, wh uh, what qualifies as undead and what qualifies as just plain dead? I would think these skeletons qualify as just plain dead. And the necromancers qualify as undead. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm being invaded. Oh, son of a bitch. Fuck. I'll see your ass later, dude. Ah-ha! Oh, well. Uh, guys, you gotta understand, I... I would gladly play offline, but I have too much fun playing online. I was about to be invaded! What the fuck do you want from me? I'm not gonna take an invasion here! I'm not some big PvP master! I'm not gonna deal with fucking latency out the ass and watch someone lag stab me! Fuck that! No! No, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, that, that, that's... that's... Failure territory. And then that's complaining, oh, well, what the fuck? I, I did the game, but the game didn't... didn't respond correctly, you know? It's what Dark Side Phil does, but whatever. <laughs> Nah, I was not invaded yet. I was about to be invaded, but I was not invaded yet. I, I did not take a wussy way out. I didn't disconnect while he was in my realm. I disconnected while he was knock, knock, knocking on my realm. But whatever. It's always kind of creepy, too, seeing these uh, skeletons. Their eyes glow. As opposed to... Well, maybe the skeletons upstairs in uh, Firelink do as well, but... These guys' eyes glow, and it's kind of creepy in the distance. It's actually really fucking creepy in the Tomb of the Giants. Because the only skeletons that are in the Tomb of the Giants are the big fucking ones. And they're... That, that's really goddamn creepy. When, when the only light... You're, you're gonna see how dark that fucking place gets, and it's awesome. I hate every bit of it, but it's awesome nonetheless. Um, but I did pick up Lucerna earlier, which is actually a very good very good quality uh, halberd it's just a shame that I don't have any ability to wield such a thing oh boy uh, that's a problem that's a big problem a skeleton fell down below and he's going to come back and well no he'll be able to respawn because there's another uh, bonfire in between here and the bottom I hope. No! Stop trying to invade me! This is my realm! Outsiders! This is not your realm! And he should be stopped. I don't care how many times I have to do it, guys! I, I can go through this area just fine. I don't need help. It would have been nice to get help, but I don't need the help to go through the fucking catacombs early. Fuck no. Well, go through the catacombs early. It's not early anymore. This is actually an area you're supposed to go through, like, around uh, New Londo time. Or not New Londo. Uh, Inner Londo time, if you want my honest opinion. Uh, the boss is a fucking joke. It's just that there's so many hiccups along the way that make it a bit difficult. So, run, run, run as fast as you can. Come at 
me, bro! Respawn! Despawn! Fuck yeah! Hey! Ass wipe! Wow, look at you. Totally not trying to run like a coward. I'm, I'm impressed, Mr. Uh. Damn it, not again. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? Hello. Did you actually die? I guess you did, because the necromancer nearby is dead. Alright. Uh, this is what I'm talking about here. This is one of those little areas where the gravesite is hollow, and if you step on it, yeah, bad things happen. I prefer bad things not happen to me, but, well, this is a Let's Play, so that's out the window. Everybody knows the Let's Play curse is, in fact, real. It's been scientifically proven, as a matter of fact. And here at the bottom... God, stop trying to invade me! All I want to do is go through it, but they ain't that letting me! <laughs> I just need to get the fuck offline is all. I don't want to though. It's like I don't want to go into the my, into my PlayStation menu. It would be a lot more fucking efficient than resetting the game every time. God damn, I'm a pansy. Since when have I ever cared about making an ass of myself on on camera? Don't answer that question, folks. It's rhetorical. Soul of a proud knight, being blocked by this little spike trap. Do not fall for the spike trap. And we can descend even further below. And this, I believe, yeah, uh, that's what I thought. That's uh, not good. Hey, it's another one of these ass wipes. You, ass wipe, die. Finish him. Dead man walking. Alright, so we got another one of these. That's fine, I can push it, I can handle whatever you throw my way. Except another fucking invader! That'd be nice. Alright, I believe at the very bottom of this is, in fact, the blacksmith. But, that's not a chance I'm willing to take right now. Let's just say, let's just proceed in here. No, no, in fact, the blacksmith is down here. Fucking god, j go away! If it were an NPC trying to invade me, I'd be fine with it, but fuck! I'm not going to be dealing with some goddamn... It's two in the morning, dude. The only people who would be online are the elite players. And me. I guess I'm not part of that, so... Whatever. I'm on the wrong file. I went on to my land file. My original file, which is where I'm still cursed. Oh, no, I'm not cursed anymore. Hello, everybody. Say hi to my very first character who sucks balls and is, to this day, just a piece of shit who's never going to level up. Contrary to our big jolly Black Knight, who is level 71 and counting, princess. Everybody loves Anthony. I love Anthony. Everybody knows Anthony. Everybody loves Anthony. And eventually, everybody kills Anthony. And, uh... That being said, th this is really fucking creepy. This little light show we got here. I'm not afraid of the dark. Especially not in a fucking video game where you can't actually hurt you, but it's a little unsettling sometimes. Light in the dark. A very small amount of light in the dark. I think humans are just... It's something that's genetically written into us to be afraid of it. Now, afraid isn't the right word, I guess, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, fuck you! You don't need to honk your horn when you're in a Taco Hell drive-thru. Eat shit and die. Oh, wait, you will, because you're going to Taco Hell. Oh, well. What's wrong with me? Why do I have, why do I have such an attitude, ladies and gentlemen? Why am I such an asshole to the very end? 
And... Oh, well. All right. Bring on the invaders. I don't give a shit now. I'm at a goddamn bonfire. What difference does it make? Bonfire lit. Bonfire sit. I got one more boss to kill before this video is up, though. Those are the terms of my estrangement. And, uh... Actually, at the very top of this thing, we got uh, another one of those fancy schmancy little mechanisms. Gotta be honest, guys. I'm gonna take a leap of faith. Oh, God, I can't take a leap of faith yet. I, I need to get the, um... I need to get the ring. Damn it! And I still need to go in that hollow grave that's like a floor or two up. That's not good either. It always pleases me to see skeletons just dive down to nothingness below and kill themselves. I would care if they had a mind of their own, but they don't. There's not a brain in that head. Just dark magic. Forces of evil. Treasure! Ah ha 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 ha. You fucking liars. That's actually an offline message. That's not something that... that that's something that the developers put in there to screw with you. They put you into this trap with fucking skeletal archers up above and skeleton knights below. I guess technically there might be treasure waiting for you at the end of this. Oh, great! Big giant skeleton. Yes, there is treasure waiting for you at the very fucking end of a trap. Dark Moon Seance Ring. Thank you, Jesus. That's one of the things that I was looking for. But it wasn't the only thing. So, at the very top of this, we gotta thwart the trap again. Jesus Christ, why do people have to ride their fucking horns? If you don't like it, why the fuck are you in a Taco Hell drive through at 2.30 in the morning? Fuck! Ugh. Oh. Sometimes I wonder why I live in a city, but then again, it is what it is. Uh, I can cross this bridge now, right? What am I talking about? That wasn't a bridge to begin with. Ah, this is the way I wanted to go. There's one. Eep. No! Fucking spamming smart bombs! Starvox could never fire him that fast. Go away. Boom. Create all the chaos you want. I don't care. We do it all summer, and it's a big bummer. We give the game away. Wait, wait, what, how, how the fuck does it go? All oh, right, right, right. We do it all summer, and it's a big bummer. No matter who we play, we give the game away, cause we can't win. That would be a sin. We even lose the games before they begin. Save it, Maple! Alright. Brownie points to whomever guesses that fucking movie that I took that from. That was a movie from my childhood. Oh, I'm getting so old. You, Mr. Titanite Demon, I challenge you to a duel. Uh, hello? Do you see me? I see you. Fuck, man. Are you glitched? Why aren't you firing your bolts at me, dude? Oh, I see. Dude, you're too far. You're at least going to try and fire your little lightning bolts at me, aren't you, dude? Oh, hello. I was just out of range there. That could have sucked. Oh! That was a quick draw from hell. But guess what, dude? I win. Demon Titanite get. And the Eye of Death. Three of them, to be precise, at the end of this. And this is a very interesting area. 
Ooh, nestle in coffin. Why would I want to do that? Oh, well, it's nice and comfy, I guess. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. How, how does Ed do it for Mad Ed and Eddie? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that show. I cannot tell you what that did to me. I was a, I was an early teenager when that show hit its peak, and it was it was something. It was something to be a part of. As was so many things in my... T Wait, what? Oh, nice little cutscene. Sitting here enjoying a nice little rest. Aren't you a big jolly, Anthony? Whoa. Didn't mean to wake her. I guess she just fell asleep. Anthony was just trying to be courteous. She only had just fallen asleep. Thank you for stating the obvious, Sammy. Anthony was just trying to be courteous. He had been dragged to the tomb of the Grave Lord. Oh, well, thanks for stating the not obvious names. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's what we see here. So somehow, that sarcophagus got taken here. And what was... What is waiting for me here in the Tomb of the Giants? But the biggest giant of them all, who is dead in his tomb, sleeping in his big fucking coffin, Grave Lord Nito. Now, I could kill him and take his Lord Soul shard, but that would that would not be honorable. Or his Lord Soul, not a shard. That would not be honorable. That would be the antithesis of the big jolly way of things. And everybody knows me. I follow the Big Jolly rulebook. And the Big Jolly rulebook says that I can say hi to Grave Lord Nito and I can politely decline to join his covenant. The Grave Lord Servant Covenant, uh, I have never, ever joined this covenant besides just for fucking gameplay purposes. Just for stupid trophy hunting. But this is, if you really want to be a douchebag, there's invasion level of douchebaggery, but if you want to be if that's not quite douchebag enough for you, you can lay a curse in people's worlds. And it doesn't matter if they're human or not, because the curse is going to persist regardless. It's going to supercharge enemies. And those enemies are going to stay supercharged until somebody kills the Grave Lord who laid the Eye of Death that caused the curse. It's so douchebaggish. Because you can hide. And they'll never find you. Especially in a place like this. Like, I would never, ever, ever want to fucking be looking for somebody in the catacombs. Because, I mean, you disguise yourself with fucking chameleon or something like that. Nobody's ever going to find you. It's way too fucking big. I, if I invaded somebody here, which, thank God, I don't do a whole lot of Dark Raid stuff. Because if I did, I, I would hate every second of it. But... Yeah, th that bad news. Bad, bad news. But. Hmm. Looks like there's only one way down. Uh, oh, I see. There is a ladder. Hello. Thank you for saying hi, skeletons. And thank you for dying, skeletons. And thank you for dropping a humanity, skeleton. You're so friendly. Large soul of a nameless soldier. That's fine and dandy. Because here and now, I know where I am. And this is not good. Because below... Black Knight, I challenge you to a duel. Because I know you're here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yes, indeed. At the bottom of this is a Black Knight wielding a great axe. And this is not good. Die! Fuck you! Parried, bitch! Eat it! You don't like it? Oh my lord! That sucked. Luckily, he doesn't seem to have a whole lot of range. Die! Fuck you! Eat it! Yeah, give me that great axe. Give me that white titanite chunk. Hell yeah, I'll use that. Fuck yeah. 
soul of a proud knight. A big, jolly, proud knight to the very end. Folks, um, I am this close to a boss. This close, but uh, th this is hell. I, I do not want to go through this area right now. I, I feel so horrible for my mood as it is. And uh, I fear... Y you see those things moving down below? Those are bone wheels. Or... And I find this to be a much better uh, representation of them. As Epic Name Bro used to call them, the asshole wheel skeletons. I prefer that, that terminology to bone wheels, or bone wheel skeletons, because they are assholes. They are wheel skeletons, but more importantly, they are asshole wheel skeletons. And I am not interested in going down to their little haven right there. Their little... There's a special place in hell for those enemies, guys. And I have no interest whatsoever. So, I said I was going to do two bosses in this video. I technically did three of them. Well, four of them. Four kings, to be exact. But, ha, I'm not going to be doing the boss in this area this episode. No. No fucking way. Um... I, I forgot they were down here, and uh, th there is other stuff for me to do in the catacombs, and I'm going to do that offline, just so I don't have to sit here and fucking be revisited by the same douchebag invader over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, that being said, I have 15 humanity to my name. I'm human. I'm going to kindle this fucking bonfire, give myself some extra Estus. Whew, you said a mouthful. Yes, I did, didn't I? I wonder, can I level up? Oh, I'm five grand away. Well, five grand is easily solvable. Yes, it is. So, let's use a large soul of Brave Warrior. Eight grand. Good enough for me. So, I could go Vitality, I could go Endurance, but you know what? My Endurance is good enough right now with, with the... Havel's ring that I'm never going to fucking take off. So, let's get started on the other stuff. Uh, 17 strength, 14 dexterity. How much do I need to effectively wield that spear that I made last episode? Dragon Slayer Spear. Oh, 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 24, 24. Damn it! You would invade me. Fuck you. Land's a douchebag to the end. I know I'm not hugging the bonfire and I know nothing would happen because I would respawn right next to it. But I just want to not give the invader the satisfaction of, of a easy kill because I really would not put up much of a fight. I'm not discounting myself. It's just I don't give a damn about PvP in this game. There needs to be fucking dedicated service for it, as it is, is peer-to-peer, -peer, so it sucks balls. So, as I said, uh, I have a long way to go if I want to wield that Dragon Slayer Spear. And it's a good weapon. So that being said, let's boost up the dexterity. And I'm sure the PvP tagging system, flagging system, pairing system, or whatever is going to send somebody my way. So I might as well make the best of it, shouldn't I? Guys, you gotta understand, I want to use other weapons. I do. I really do. And it's because I want to use other weapons that I'm going to use the cheat that I said I wasn't going to do. I know, I know. You're a pansy, Lan. You're a pansy to the very end. You suck. You stink like that. Poop. Get that poop out of your mouth. I hate you, Ron Burgundy. I hate you. Yeah, it's just, look at this fucking sucking in this stupid little soul duplication trick. Poop. I know, guys. Painful to watch. I said I wouldn't do it. So why am I doing it now? I don't know. And why did I suck at it? I don't know. I don't know! To quote Lex Luger, I'm sure Lex is just 
so hateful of me right now because I missed Super Saturday. I'm sorry, Lex. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. <laughs> oh, but I don't care. I'm done caring. This is my Sun Bro Sunday. This is my... Sh oh, fuck. Um. Hmm. I accidentally used the Soul of Sif. Ah, well, that's what I get. So, um, yeah. That's interesting. And I've already used the Soul of Ornstein, so if I want to do the trick again, that means, uh, fuck. Oh, well, I wasn't going to use Sif Soul for anything in this file anyway. Fuck. Damn it! It's what I get for using the trick. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Let me know what you thought with your comments and feedback. And if you really enjoyed the video, I've got a slew of other projects going on that I update regularly. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to stay up to date. Have a good day, everyone.